Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another Amazon haul. These are items that I purchased within the last two weeks or so. And with these haul videos, it can get a little random because I am sharing with you what I recently am purchasing from Amazon. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to find out what goodies I picked up from Amazon, then just keep watching. Before we get into the haul, I quickly wanted to mention Go Cash Back. They are one of the fastest online cash back websites and they offer up to 40% cash back on uh, merchants or stores like Sephora, Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, etc. They have a ton of stores that you can get cash back from. I'm going to insert a little video clip showing um, how to use the website. It's really easy. So once you register um, or make an account with Go Cash Back, you also will receive $8 bonus in your account without even shopping yet, which is really cool. So I will have that link down below. But once you register, you're going to see all the different cash back, current cash back that you can get from different merchants or stores. And if you don't see yours right on the main page, that's fine. You can just type in the store that you're going to be shopping at, and then it's going to pull up that store. What's really cool about Go Cash Back is that they also show the current coupon codes that you can use at that particular store and you can also use those coupon codes in conjunction with getting cash back so you've got multiple ways to save and once you're ready to shop you hit the shop button and then the page redirects you to the store's website and then that's it you just shop like normal and you will get the cash back now what's cool about go cash back is that they offer higher cash back rates for popular merchants than other uh, online cash back websites they also have more cash back withdrawal options instead of getting cash back um, you can get a gift card, a check, or you could get it through PayPal. So there's multiple ways that you can receive cash back. And also they are offering offline cash back where you get 100% cash back at stores like Starbucks or Whole Foods. And to get that, you have to download the Go Cash Back app. But what's really cool is if you add the app, you'll get a free drink at Starbucks. So I am going to leave all this information down below. Again, if you sign up, you will get $8 in your account or register. You'll get the eight dollars right in your account so I'm gonna leave that all down below okay so first let's start with clothing I have three matching sets they're like long sleeve with shorts you can wear them as pajamas loungewear or even just wear them out casually super cute and comfortable I am gonna insert clips of me wearing them so you could see what they look like so this first one right here and this is by the brand Equior. I've actually mentioned them many times before on my channel um, they're an Amazon store so this is what the first one looks like. And in all these sets, you guys, they do have multiple colors. So this is what the top looks like. And then this is what the shorts look like. They have pockets and they have strings too if you want to make the waist higher. Now these are high-waisted, which I like. You don't have to wear them high-waisted, but you can. And this material right here, I want to say, I don't know if it's called like a knit material, but it's really, really soft really really comfortable so I decided to try this one out in the light pink perfect for spring and then next we have this black set and it's kind of got like almost I don't know what you want to call it like a waffle print I don't know if it's showing up on camera now this one is more sheer of a material it's more lightweight hence the fact you can see through it but that's what the top looks like and then it comes with the matching shorts again these have pockets which is really nice and appreciated and then it has a drawstring as well super comfortable and then last but not least this is my favorite color um, this one is like more of like that quintal quintessential excuse me like waffle kind of knit pattern if I'm like saying that correctly so I decided to go with this kind of like lavender lilac color I love it perfect for the spring now this one's cool because it does have a little bit of a v-neck so it's different um, and I would say that this is again it's probably like the heaviest out of the three materials but it's still pretty lightweight it's not like a sweatshirt material so that's what the top looks like as you can see we've got nice long sleeves and then we have the matching shorts as well they are so cute you guys and again, we have pockets. And then these ones have the slits on the side. I don't know if the other ones 
did have slits, but these do. So all three of these I plan on wearing kind of like to run errands, casually around the house. I could even wear them as pajamas, um, but I wanted to shout these out because with the warm weather coming, these are super cute to kind of lounge around in or just, you know, run errands in or even sleep in for that matter. So I will have these linked down below if you guys are interested. Sticking with fashion, I have a pair of yoga pants and I feel like in a lot of these hauls, I always share yoga pants with you if I find what good ones from Amazon. I would say uh, maybe 70% of the yoga pants I own are from Amazon. So this isn't a recent purchase. I think I bought this or purchased this back in December, but the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I was going through my drawers the other day and I had no idea that these were in here. I totally forgot that I purchased them and oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with them. They are currently my favorite pair of yoga pants. So I just washed them and a uh, side note, no issues with washing them. This would be considered kind of like a ribbed material. They have multiple colors. I definitely want to get more, um, but I'm going to insert a picture so you can see these, um, but it's like a ribbed material. And this is kind of like that stretchy spandex material. Um, I don't know how else to describe it, but literally this like sucks you in. You guys wore these to the gym, had no issues. Now they are like a little bit long on me. So what I do is I just roll up the ankles, but I love these. They are, you know, a little bit thicker, but I love them. And the size that I have for these, I thought they were an extra small, but these are a small. I think what I did is I ordered the extra small and the small, and then I just returned the extra small. But you guys, I'm obsessed with these. I definitely plan, I think they have like a pink color I want to get. I definitely plan on getting another color. Um, they suck you in and they're really flattering. And I don't know like how I forgot about them. So I definitely wanted to shout these out. And then moving on to accessories, I think I've mentioned these headbands before, but this is the pink one I wanted to mention. You've probably seen these in... Um, like Instagram or like Facebook or YouTube kind of like shorts or whatever. I mean, I'm not like into those things, but I see them sometimes. Or you'll see like girls wearing these just to do their makeup. And that's exactly what I use this headband for. It's super cute. Um, so basically when I'm doing my makeup, I just put this on and I try to get as close to like my scalp as possible or my forehead because being a blonde, I can't tell you, especially when I just get my roots done, it is so hard to not get any kind of foundation or bronzer in your hair and then I have to take a makeup wipe to it. So when I wear these, it kind of helps uh, prevent that from happening, but I just think they're super cute. It kind of matches my beauty room. That's why I got pink. So um, I just wanted to shout these out because you guys have probably seen them. They're just a super cute headband, super cheap. So I will link this one down below. And then sticking with accessories, this is my new phone case. Now I did just recently, and I didn't even know this was going to happen, but they were running a really great promotion. So I um, upgraded my phone to an S23 Plus, which I love and I needed to get a new case. Now, when you go to the stores, um, like the phone stores, whether it be Verizon or Spectrum, that's who I just switched to. If you buy a case there, you're paying like $50. Go on Amazon and you can get them anywhere from like five to $20. So this one was a little bit more pricier, you guys, but I love it. So that's what it looks like. And before this, I had kind of like the book one where you know you open it up and you use your phone and I really liked it. Um, I liked it too because my screen would not get scratched, but over time, the material on it kind of goes south and it gets dirty on the insides. I mean, I had it for probably like a half, like six, seven months at least. So um, when I upgraded my phone, I'm like, you know what, I want to go back to just kind of a simple case, but I have to have like a hard screen protector because once I throw this uh, in my purse, just stuff touches the screen and it scratches the screen. So anyways, besides the point, I wanted to share this case with you and they probably have different, um, you know, versions for like, you know, S23, S22, whatever, but I just decided to go with this one. I thought it was super cute for spring. It is, um, what do they call it? Like shock proof. So if it does fall, this bevel edge is going to protect it from, you know, shattering the screen. So the screen never really will touch the ground. Um, but it's a really nice quality. It was about $20, but Amazon always runs promotions or lightning deals or whatever, so you could get it cheaper. But what I really like about this is that you can close this so that your screen or your screen or your camera screen, excuse me, your camera does not get scratched because technically in my purse or wherever, um, I know it's a little bit elevated from the case, but something could scratch 
the lens of the camera. So when you're not using it, you can do that and you're good. I've never seen a case like this. So I really do like this case. The only thing that this case doesn't have, it's not like a super big deal, is that it doesn't have like a little um, like stand, kickstand or whatever so I can watch things. So I just usually like set it on something. But other than that, I really like it. So we'll see how long this one lasts because sometimes after a while these clear spots kind of get yellow. But for right now it's good. It's sturdy and literally you just like kind of peel it off and um, you can get it off around that way. So I did want to shout out my new uh, phone case. Do not buy them in store. You will be um, spending way more money. And then I think I just have two more supplements left. It's not a lot, you guys. Um, so, or supplements or skincare. So this is a repeat purchase and I love this. It is the Timeless Skincare 20% Vitamin C Ferulic Acid and Vitamin E. Um, and this is really affordable. I think it's under $20. This serum is really nice. It's a nice vitamin C serum. Now with me, I cannot use this every day. Like retinol, vitamin C serums can be kind of drying on the skin. They're really great for brightening your skin as well as anti-aging or, you know, kind of helping with wrinkles and whatnot. So I just wanted to read a little bit about this. It says it contains vitamin C, an antioxidant that evens skin tone and helps build collagen. Also contains vitamin E and ferulic acid used to extend the life and effectiveness of the vitamin C. Then another thing I wanted to mention is that I do keep this in the fridge. It says storage. Refrigeration will help keep the serum fresh for longer, otherwise store in a cool, dry place. So I just keep it in the fridge. Um, but again, you don't have to, so I like to keep it in the fridge, and then when I apply it, it's really cool on my skin. Now, after I've um, cleansed my face, I will go in with this and then a moisturizer after, but again, I don't use this every day. I really do like it, so I just wanted to mention this. And then last but not least is melatonin. This is my favorite melatonin. I do use melatonin pretty much every night. Um, but this is the natural or natural, however you say it, melatonin. They sell this in drugstores or like Walmart, Target as well. But I just got it this time from Amazon because sometimes they're out of the one I like. But this is their Sleep Melatonin Fast Dissolve um, Strawberry. And they do have pills as well. But I usually just like to, when I'm laying in bed watching TV, I just like to pop these in my mouth and let them dissolve instead of like getting up and swallowing a pill and drinking water and you know whatnot. These are just easier. So these are five milligrams. Typically I will take one a night. Sometimes I will take two a night depending on if I still feel like wide, wide awake. I'll take these about 20 to 30 minutes before I'm going to go to bed and I do feel like they help. Sometimes I feel like they don't, but they typically do. Sometimes I'll go to the 10 milligrams, but I do like to take melatonin every night. So this is the one that I go for. It's pretty affordable. Again, these are the tablets that just melt in your mouth and they taste like strawberry. So I figured I would mention that. And yeah, that's it for this haul. There'll be many more to come. This is just recent purchases that I... Um, made. They're very random, I know. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out any of these items. If you're thinking of trying out any of these items, also don't forget to sign up for Go Cash Back. You'll get that $8 free in your account. But anyways, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.